My name is David McCalmer and I've been making a living since 1992 as a recording artist. This is a very interesting question for me. I knew that clothes were significant and fun very early on because I, I, I arrived here with a West Indian church boy sensibility in my dress that made people raise their eyebrows. Crimpling trousers and beltlessness and open shirts and just out of touch. Dressed for Cinderella's and Sinatra's on a Friday night. I had to like go through all those fashion faux pas to get to where I am now and now I dress the way that I like to. Classic, I suppose. I think that there's a fantastic legacy of British dress. I like that. I like the idea of um, a Piccadilly wardrobe because it's a very glyptic experience getting dressed. And I like the notion of being a foppish dandy. I enjoy walking down Savile Row and looking at suits and at ties and shirts and classic British shoes and umbrellas with hooks. I like the way that those clothes look on somebody like me because I'm dark-skinned, half West Indian, half African. There's something about combining that look with colour, and I like a lot of strong colour, and my skin that looks kind of pimpish. When I leave the house to go about, I think that I dress for respect, really. And since I started dressing my idea of well, and more gentlemanly, like how I think I am, people expect me to walk into their shop instead of wondering what I'm doing there. There are the days when I'm slumming it and I'm not looking for it. Like if I am staying in my locale, like if, I, if I'm not leaving Brixton, dress very differently to how I do if I'm going to go above Brixton and get on the tube and come into the West End. The attempt that I make is to look casual, smart, but never street. I went through a street phase and it wasn't me. I looked ridiculous and I couldn't understand why it was that they were stopping me in Liberty. It's like an assembly, it's like sculpting something. And it really is about looking at myself in the mirror and, th and, and uh, aligning my mood with what I'm putting on. And often I leave it to the last minute and find that I haven't got time to get ready. And that means that I'm late because I just haven't got the right look with which to leave the house. If I'm getting ready to go on stage, I'm prepared to go through that um, song and dance. And actually I'll do it. I'll have the song and dance before I go on stage. And um, I enjoy that most because that's when I can really revel in my flamboyance, really get dressed up to the nines, bring out all the colours, bring out all of the bling, big sparkly costume jewellery that I like to wear. When you're going to go on stage and be a popping jay, you know, an eye-catching performer, it's really good to honour the attention that you're seeking by getting dressed for it. It's like people are coming to see you, do you look like you've been paid for? People say dapper and I never thought, thought, thought I had dapper coming to me. So it makes me feel great actually to be considered a well-dressed person. But a lot of thought has gone into it and a lot of mistakes have been made. I seem to be getting it right more often than not now and um, it makes me feel really good to um, be well-dressed. Even the way I'm dressed now, has been carefully considered. Ha, 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 ha.